Hello and welcome back guys. Okay, so now if I go to my uh, comment section here, so this is a post, let's say there were three users on this uh, website. So as you can see, this one is the owner of this post. Now let's say a third person uh, comments here, considering this is somebody else who commented here on the post that is not theirs. So if a third person comments here, she is also supposed to be notified that somebody else commented on this post. Because otherwise, as it is, if somebody comments here, only the owner of the post will know. But the other people that commented are not going to be notified. So let's create a third person so that we can see how that's work how that works actually. So let me log out here for a bit. Go to sign up and let's create uh, a new user here so that I have three male John Yahoo.com and the same password. Okay, so let's do a sign up. And there we go. So we can log in now. Yay, new user. Okay, so far so good. So now I have to follow those people uh, for me to be able to comment on their stuff. So I'll follow Mary here. Okay, so Mary has two followers now. And I'll look at who she's following as well and follow that one too. Great. Okay, so now I can go to this post right here and make a comment. So now before I do that, I want these guys to have to be notified that something happened here. Oh, actually, which they want. So what I will do is when I comment here, I am supposed to... This post is supposed to be saved in comments I follow. So if we go to our table here, you will see that there's this uh, table, content I follow, which is currently empty. And then if we go to our folder in classes and we open functions. So there's this function right here, which says content I follow. So this is what we're supposed to utilize now. So as you can see, what it needs is the user ID of the current user and then the row of the content that they are, they are supposed to follow now. So the only time that content should be followed is when uh, it's when somebody has commented on a post like this one. And that's because if, if let's say I commented on this post, it would be overkill if I notified when somebody likes somebody else's comment on here. So that really wouldn't interest me, but I might want to know if somebody else has commented on this post so I can hear their views. So we'll only put it when somebody comments. So to do that is an easy thing. So let's come here since we already have the function here. So let me copy this and then let's go to our Let's go to our classes and let's get the post.php class. Okay, so in the post.php class, if you go down here, there's this part which asks if the parent is set because that's when we update the number of comments. So a comment is really a post, only that it's called a parent. Uh, the parent is, is not zero as would be here if this was just a post. So we can put this thing in here when we know that somebody is actually making a comment. However, we don't want to, to do this on every comment because sometimes the one who is commenting, in this case, for example, whoever is commenting, this could be their post. So we should only do this to people who do not own the post. So there's an easy way to check because this same post right here, if I own the post, then the user ID of the post will be mine. So in order to check for that, we are going to need the to read from the post here. So I'm just trying to check if we instantiated the post class here and 
oh we're actually inside the post class so which is good so inside this post class we have uh, what post do we have here we have get posts and we have this is for many posts so get one post this is what I'm looking for so let me copy this now since we are in this same very same class we don't need to instantiate it so instead we can simply say this like so get one post like that and then we put the post ID so we're looking for the post that is the parent which is uh, instead of this comment being put here the parent of the comment which will be the post so we'll say my post is equal to okay so that's the post right there and then let's do uh, some questioning here so if we'll say if is set or let's say if it's an array just to avoid errors if it's an array my post let me copy this so that I can avoid um, typing it so if it is an array and inside post here if the post user ID is equal to my ID so my ID in this case is uh, let's see user ID here so it means there so there it is the user ID so let me copy that because I'm the one commenting here so let me put that there let me confirm that uh, we have the right value where is user ID being oh so the user ID comes with the with the function there so this is good so if this is equal it means this is my post right so I don't need to do this so I can put not equal to there so if this is an array and the user ID is not equal to me so which is, means it's not my post therefore what I will do now is add this content so remember we are adding the content of the main post and not our comment that we are adding here so therefore the user ID will be my user ID and this row is going to be this one right there my post and let's put it there let me come back here and see if I did not miss anything row gender well I'm beginning to wonder if I used if this is correct okay so looking at uh, these guys here alright so let's let's give it a spin and see if it actually works so let me come back to my uh, to this file right here and let me put a comment here this uh, let's try this is a third person comment so let's put it there there we go so that person has commented so let's come back here and browse and we see that uh, things are working out however the problem is we don't have a content type and we don't have the content ID so let's see what went wrong here should be inside the function because we gave it everything it needs so content type is empty content ID is zero to begin with so let's see what's going on here okay so let's uh, delete this row for a second okay before we do that you notice that content ID and content type are the only things missing here so keep that in mind so let me delete this okay so we removed that so if we come back to the function there is content ID and content type here and if you check this is where we are setting them here so I'm guessing this is probably because this is raw comes in as a an array and not an object so what I'm, we would do is I will say raw is equal to instead of having to change everything down there I'm simply going to uh, change it to an object and do that something like this 
Okay, so let's let's give it another spin and see if it works out this time. Another comment. So post. So let's come back here and browse. And as you can see, this time we have a winner. So we have our content ID, we have content type, it's not disabled, and so on. So this will mean this now. Uh, let me make sure this is the correct user ID. If I go to John Captain, yeah, that's the correct user ID. That's true. So John Captain on this content, which is a post, will be notified. Okay, so now we will see how to add a notification uh, considering this content right there. So the, the way this is going to work is that a notification will be added whenever someone posts. But if I go to notifications here, so the notification will be added for the owner of the post. Obviously, we already have that set up. So now the difference is that in content I follow, we are simply going to add these people to the list of, of those that are going to be able to read that very notification. Because currently, to find a notification, we're just looking for content owner. This is the only part we are querying. If somebody is in here, then they own the content and they're supposed to read that notification. However, we're going to extend that. Not only should they, they be the content owner, but it should be part of their content uh, they follow. Okay, so we'll do that in the next video.